Hong Kong is a modern financial center with business activities going on day and night. Yet few people may recall that Hong Kong was mainly a fishing village only a century ago. We have rich fisheries resources in local waters and in the South China Sea, which led to a booming fishing industry in Hong Kong. Many of the fishing vessels are operated by family members. Depending on the fishing method they use, their boats are equipped with different gear for long lining, gill netting, purse seining, hand lining, or cage trapping. Fishing is never easy, and fishermen have to work irregular hours. Sometimes, they may even need to journey for days to distant fishing grounds. Living on the boats, many fishermen prepare their own simple meals, mostly seafood with pickled vegetables. Our food is usually steamed or deep fried. Sometimes, we add some vegetables to make a, a fish stew. Fish is the most important ingredient for making a fresh, nutritious soup. Facing often unpredictable weather, every fisherman wants a fishing trip on calm seas with a favorable current. It is a common custom, therefore, for local fishermen to pray to Tin Hao the goddess of the sea for safety, fine weather, and a plentiful catch. Today, there are more than 70 temples in Hong Kong dedicated to Tin Hao. The birth of Tin Hao on the 23rd day of the third lunar month is celebrated by tens of thousands of people with parades and lion dances this is one of the most important festivals for fishermen. Thanks to the different ocean currents that affect Hong Kong, we have a rich diversity of marine life. These currents bring in nutrients and marine larvae from neighboring waters. As a result, over 80 hard coral species and thousands of marine fish species have been recorded in Hong Kong. The ocean is full of challenges, so animals have to cooperate to increase their chance of survival. Commensalism is a good strategy used by many marine creatures with the relationship between clownfish and sea anemones one of the best examples. The sea anemone has stinging cells to keep away predators. However, the clownfish has developed a special mucus to protect against the stings, allowing it to stay within the protection of the sea anemone. In return, the clownfish cleans up the anemone's dead tissue and removes parasites, providing benefits to both the host and the tenant. There are many other unexpected partnerships in the ocean, like this pairing of a shrimp and a goby living in a single mud burrow. The almost blind pistol shrimp works very hard cleaning up the burrow, and in exchange, the goby provides a watchdog service. Through this partnership, both the shrimp and goby can enjoy safety in a livable burrow. The ocean supports our fishing industry and provides us with an abundant food source. It is also part of Hong Kong's history, traditions, and culture. We need to protect our marine environment and allow this priceless resource to be passed to future generations in a healthy state.